So, what is Haskell? Well, the dictionary definition is that Haskell is a general purpose, statically typed, purely functional language with type inference and lazy evaluation, named after the logician Haskell Curry. That's a lot of words. It's a bit of a mouthful. Let's go through each bit one by one and make sure you understand. General purpose. This means it can be used in a general sense for a wide variety of domains. This is in contrast to a domain specific language, which would only be used for a specific domain. Statically typed. This means that the type of values are known and checked against at compile time. This is in contrast to dynamic typing, where the type is verified at runtime instead of compile time. Purely functional language. Purely functional refers to Haskell's programming paradigm. In this paradigm, immutability is the default, and if you call a function with the same arguments, it will always return the same result. As everything is immutable, functions are said to have no side effects. We'll explore what being pure means and how it relates to side effects in one of the next slides. With type inference, this refers to the fact that the programmer does not always have to declare the types of variables and functions in the code. The compiler is smart enough that it can usually figure it out for us. We will see this in action in later places in the course. Lazy evaluation. This means that only that which is needed to compute the value is actually computed, and nothing more. We touched on lazy evaluation briefly in the previous section on the lambda calculus, and we will see it again in action later. Unlike other programming languages such as C and Java, which have their origins in industry, Haskell's origins are from academia. In the 1980s, there were a number of functional programming languages, with the most widely used being a language called Miranda. Miranda was proprietary software, and so in 1987, at a conference on functional programming languages and computer architecture, it was agreed that a committee be formed to define an open standard for a functional language. The point of the committee was to consolidate the existing functional languages into a common one to serve as a basis for future research. This eventually resulted in the first version of Haskell being defined in 1990. Over time, research continued and a number of features kept being added to the language, eventually resulting in newer versions. The most important milestones are the publishing of the Haskell 98 language standard and the Haskell 2010 language standard. The de facto compiler of the Haskell language is the Glasgow Haskell compiler, commonly abbreviated as GHC, and is what we will be using for this course. The compiler is what takes the code you write and compiles it down to machine instructions so that the code can then run. If you would like to learn more about the history of the Haskell programming language, then check out the paper available at this link. This video is a clip from a longer video for beginners starting with Haskell. Check that out if you would like to see all of the content. Also check out the entire Introduction to Functional Programming with Haskell course on the LIGO Learn channel. See you next time.